Hey, Ming Tsai here with Simply Ming. I have one of my great, dear, dear old friends, Jacques Pepin, in the house. He is one of 13 chefs of his family. 12 of the restaurants in his family were run by women. He was the first male chef. Think about that. What are we cooking today? Arctic char. It's all about fish. He's gonna sear a piece of char, make some very cool mini savory cheesecake with a little raw tomato sauce. Personally, when I do that, I put that into a bowl and I put that in the microwave oven for like one minute. And then it's- Microwave oven, just to yeah, heat. No, Jacques Pepin uses That's a right. microwave oven. Sure. Wow, I won't yeah, tell yeah. anyone. I'm gonna do the same char, but olive oil, poach it, and serve as sushi rice cake. French, we call this mm. tomate fondue. Yeah, which means fondue. you can charge $29 for it. <laughs> We're cooking up fish, coming up right now, here on Simply Me. Toujours my pleasure to have you here. My pleasure to come here, especially if you give me a drink. <laughs> I'm going to give you a drink. This is going to be uh, a version of a Negroni, but we actually use a, a rye. It's called a, you know, I like Boulevardier. Oui? Hey, la, la, les Grands Boulevards. The Grand Boulevard. I remember the Grand Boulevard in Paris. Where did you work? You work I work at La, la Maxéville, which was a, a big brasserie, you know, there. And you work in the, uh, Napoleon? Right. I worked, I worked at Bowman, yeah, uh, ho Hotel Napoleon. So it, it's three ounces of rye, three ounces of vermouth, sweet vermouth. Okay. Yeah, two flags of orange would be great. You have enough ice in there? Yeah, uh, no, a little, just a touch more. A little more? Okay. And then we're just gonna go an ounce and a half of Campari. Ounce and a half of Campari? Okay, my wife would probably like that one. She likes Campari. Oh, she would. And you want a, a thing of a... Uh... Yeah, two flags. Perfect. Oh boy. So I've been trained 30 times. And I've also been trained one ice cube out for good luck. So okay. do you miss yeah. cooking in restaurants? I mean, that's, you did that for how many years? <laughs> 40, 40 years? Yeah, well, I've been in the kitchen over 70 years now. 70? Yeah, 1949. I, I, I'm gonna be 94 in 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, I'm old. What I love is we celebrate Jacques' 80th birthday for seven years straight. That was yes. hilarious. All right. That looks really good. Actually, that Julia Child's birthday, we celebrated her 80th I, for I, 10 years, <laughs> practically. Oh, I know. All right. This should, okay. this should get us going here, John. I should really cook well after that, you know. Just go. Chin, chin. Oh, that's on to you. Huh? Happy drinking. Well, good stuff. Ball. Not bad? Good stuff. Was, will this make you cook your char okay? See, oh, yes. I'm going to cook the whole... Well, maybe I won't drink the whole thing. Now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cook some chai. Bon, on y va. I've paid for it. All right, Jacques, what is your dish, my friend? Well, you know, here we do a cheesecake with the cream cheese and the vanilla and, and right. sugar and Sweet. so forth. Right. And in France, I remember going to Alsace, they did a tart au fromage, oh. and they used the, 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 white, the white cheese, yep. you know, yep. but with the shallots in it and, and yep. salt, pepper, too, a kind of savory one. So I did something like that here, okay. a kind of souffle. So you know what you can do for me? Yep. I'm going to put, usually you do a dough, I don't want to put a dough, but we put bread crumb, just fresh, fresh a, bread crumb. Just fresh regular bread, bread crumb. crumb makes a big difference, you know, so. C'est bon? Takes a, long, takes a long time to do it. Yeah, see? a long time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is you it? know that you, you have, oh, you have no here. Okay. Uh, so, oh, the, yeah, so I learned this. So, I learned this ten so years ago from you. So fresh, fresh bread crumbs is better. very different because it's than, uh, twice than the volume one. of a yeah. dry bread crumb. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're going to butter that too. So I put a bit of butter around here. So this you're just you're making your kind of not souffle mold, but you're yeah. you're coating. So you know it's time to practice when you do that. So you can right. practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Because we all do that at home and breakfast time from my youngest yeah, muffin. I make yeah. rosettes all the time. <laughs> oh my God. Here, see that? So you can, you can sell that in the restaurant for 20 bucks. <laughs> you could. You could. <laughs> all right, so here you want to butter that. Okay. It nicely buttered, you know, put a lot of it, a crust, and then we're going to press some bread crumb all around. Okay. Good. And in there, I'm going to put the, my cream cheese. This is whipped cream cheese, so it's a bit softer you know, okay. than this. Put it in there. And you put this in the fridge for a while? Yes, yes, okay. yeah, you can do that. 
So I have a quarter of a cup of, uh, of um, sour cream here and salt, pepper. So here's two that have been chilled. That's great. Okay. And uh, you want to break me the eggs in there? Two eggs. So, you know, this is the mixture that you would do for a cheesecake, except you don't have vanilla, you don't have sugar, eat the, the sweet one. So, you can also do that in the food ah. processor. Okay. Voila. That's all right. Voila. You know what? You could cut a little bit of parsley, maybe. Okay. Shine or whatever. So, this is pretty easy to do if you have a large quantity, as I say, you could do it in the food processor. Yeah, but a la main, right? A la main, yeah. Because so I, I, some people jog and do all of that. I don't, but I beat egg white. I beat everything. <laughs> okay, you want to <laughs> Okay, good. So yes, we have eh? a nice mixture. You could do a large one in here. You could do that in a tart. You know, you could do that as a garnish. Or yeah. else we're going to do that in a kind of souffle mold like this. That was so simple. Yeah, exactly. So the soft cream cheese, and then... Some, I sometimes I do a big one. Right. Sometimes we do some smaller one. And this, this goes in the oven for how long? I would say about 20 minutes. I should actually, it'd be better if it was totally full. See, I love the Jacques. Jacques doesn't waste anything. And I, I saw you do a show once, even on egg, even when you break eggs, you take your fingers, oh, yeah. take the egg whites out, We right? used to do that, breaking the egg and putting the shell with our thumb, cleaning right. the inside. Yeah. Okay, so this, right. this, how long do we cook this for? 20? You said? I would say like 20 minutes, you know. Okay. Three, 350, 375, okay. whatever, something like this. And during that time, you can have another three cocktail by the time it's cooked. In 20 yep. minutes, we should so, be able to. Chin chin. Okay, so in the oven, your beautiful. cakes, here's some char. Yeah, this is voilà. a beautiful char, look at that. Love char. You can do that with salmon or char. Yep. This doesn't have any skill, yeah, you yeah. know. So, so we have two steaks, two nice steaks here. You know, I like to cook this. Remember Trois Gros, the very famous right. in Grenoble? They used to cook the salmon like that with a sorrel sauce. It's a little bit of the same idea here. I do it only on the skin. Here it is, a non-stick pan. I put it in there. Pan is cold. Pan is cold? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No salt, no pepper? No salt. No, no I, I'm going to put a bit of salt on top okay. of it. How high? Thank you. High. Me? High? OK. Yeah. Lido? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, one for you, one for me, right? So a little bit of uh, salt on top. No oil, nothing, in a cold pan. No, no oil, no, no. I mean, this, this is a non-stick pan, right? It is, okay. no pepper. Yeah, put a bit of pepper okay. on top, okay. Awesome. I love so how I cook a unilateral on one side here. It is enough, I would say a good five minutes on high heat to have a nice crust. And because I cover it from the beginning, I will get enough steam to cook the top without turning the fish. So you don't turn the fish. Awesome. You cook five minutes, that's it, it's done. During that time, we do a sauce for that fish, a sauce which is just as easy as this. I need a ripe tomato, although they are, are pretty ripe, yeah, so maybe I'll use those, uh, you know, uh, small tomatoes there. So you can so use here, the other tomatoes, you can use yeah. that. You want to put some pepper in there, too? Yeah. Oui. yeah. So this is so, kind of, this is a fresh tomato sauce, if yeah, you would. So, yes. It's so like just a, this? It's like a raw tomato a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. If you let it rest for a while, too, it's going to get redder because here we put a lot of hair by beating it. Oh, look how red but that is. But see, yeah. you have a, I use that as a soup sometimes, just a plain soup. What I do conventionally when I do that, I put that into a bowl and I put that in the microwave oven for like one minute. And then it's- Microwave it, oven, just to yeah, heat. Yeah, no, it's just so that it's not cold. So it's like lukewarm and I serve the fish right Jacques on top Pepin of it. Jacques Pepin uses a microwave oven. Sure. Wow, well, I won't yeah, tell yeah. anyone. <laughs> oh, no, aucune person. Nothing wrong Anything with I need it. to do with this? Do you, so no, we no, don't no, have a microwave? We're, we're just no. going to warm it when, okay. the, when, the, when the, the thing are ready. All right, so we have our cheese, cheese uh, mini cheesecakes in. They're gonna take another about 10 minutes. We have the char going, we have the sauce done. 10 minutes back, we're gonna have Jacques' char dish. Yeah, stick around. All right, Jacques, it's been, oh la la, look, look at, at these. So, uh, look like cheese souffles. Those are li lichette, but they, they are souffle. You can serve them like this, you know. I mean, look, they are cooked, wow. you know. So 
If you want to serve them like this, then you serve them right away now. Right, hot. That's one way of serving them. If you want to serve another way that I do, I do a salad, like a rugala too. Yeah. Let them cool up like five minutes so they shrink a little bit, unmold them and serve them on them lukewarm. Okay. That's a nice way All of right. doing I'll it. I'll let too. them rest. Let them rest. So, so what a, Maybe we'll take them out of this. Okay, so I'll do that. Yep. They cool off. Okay. They are beautiful. And they're very, yeah. they're very but stable. You know, that, that, and again, those are relatively large for one, but yeah. with the same quantity, you can do smaller. But as you see, when they shrink, you got a crust, yeah. when they shrink, they're going to shrink a little bit, and hopefully, they're going to unmold. Oh, of course. I'm yeah. going to let them unmold. If they don't unmold, that's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> right. Do you just say? It's never Jacques Pepin's fault. <laughs> okay. All right. So. All right. So because here, I don't have a microwave, this, you just wanted to take the, the yeah. This, off, this right? is just uh, the sauce we did, and you know, okay. What I want to do, put the tomato sauce, and that's it. You know, it's enough now. I want it just lukewarm. I just don't want it cold. OK. Uh, that's about it. So it's a beautiful tomato sauce that you do fresh like this. We come back here? Yeah, please. So yeah. this is so simple. Just yeah. beautiful. Oh, yeah. That is such a pretty sauce. The fish on top. As you can see, that the oh, fish yeah. now could be crusty a little more. We put a bit of parsley on top. Maybe a, a dash of a, a little bit of that on top. Beautiful. Parsley. That's it. So, you know, as Country you can cooking, see, right? so so the, the, the fish is cooked only on one side. Right. You know, covering so that cook the top and that's it. You can do any fish like this, which is a nice way of doing it. Remember, we didn't put any fat or anything in it, no butter and nothing. And uh, it's beautiful. So uh, it's so fresh, right? Yeah. All right. And then you have the salad. You have a root. Okay, so we have a bit of uh, arugula salad here. I have a bit of parsley left, so I leave it there. Uh, maybe a bit of a bit of uh, lemon juice there. Salt, pepper. Uh, yeah. Okay. Put a dash of olive oil in there. Okay. You want to mix it? Oui. Good. All right. You're good with those baguettes, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> 55 years of training. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So. Oop. Those are pretty hot shots. So we can put. Salad on bottom. there, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. This is really a bit too hot still. But as you can see, they kind of shrink a little bit, so. Oh, yeah. Well, with your bread so, it's not it doesn't stick. Yeah, so, you know, I would, I would unmold them on my hand and put them this way, and then back the other way. Oh, c'est joli. Look how pretty those are. Wow, Jacques. If you want, we don't even have to do it. We put a little bit of the blue sheet. Oh, I want. Oh, yeah. A little bit of the blue sheet on top. So the heat will just melt it? Oh. Yeah, a little bit. That's but so you, good. You can, you can see that thing is uh, is still quite quite oh, soft. It's bouncy soft and hot on the salad with this. Jacques. Do you have to open it and taste it, or you want to wait? <laughs> I want to eat it, but we have to wait, apparently. But maybe we shouldn't. Because you know what? So just try one. Because we can. Okay. So here is the opening here. Daily soup. Mm. That is so good. You're a master. You can make a souffle out of anything. I can give you nice a, I can give you a turkey sandwich, you can make a souffle. Yeah, it's a nice that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey sandwich souffle. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll do a fast casual. All right. Jacques, t'es génial. You're a genius. Yeah. So, yeah. can you stick around and cook with me real quick? I'm gonna, do, it, I'm gonna do an olive poach on your Can I help you? Yes, I need All your right. help. Stick around. Monsieur, good. that bite of the cheese souffle. Oh, oh good. So yeah. good. You're the sort of cheese souffle, but it can't be seven. But it looks like a souffle. Good. Everything yeah, yeah. you always do becomes a souffle. It's ridiculous. I can't wait to try your turkey sandwich souffle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm using the same try you did, oh, although good. I took the skin off. Okay. And I'm going to olive poach it, right? So I'm just oh, going to okay. season it with 
uh, salt and pepper. Salt, pepper. If you okay. could take, I don't know, like 12 tomatoes and just okay. cut them in half, All we're gonna right. cook them in the olive oil towards the end. Oh, yes, okay. But I'm gonna salt and pepper both sides. Okay. And I know you know the olive poaching technique. For those that don't, you actually just take olive oil and you bring it to, I like salmon like around 140. Right, because yeah, you go, yeah, or the yeah, salmon, uh, yeah. artichoke. I call this salmon because it looks so much like salmon. So this is at 140, which means you can put your finger in it, because if it's 200, my finger would be burning, right? And just lay them in softly like that, and do nothing. Yeah, just you let push it sit down. Just I think that, soft. like uh, Thomas Carrier does, uh, and many chefs do now, the lobster. Yeah, butter Poaching toast lobster. Butter. Yeah. yeah, it's so and good. Melted butter like this, yeah. All right, so. Yeah, so uh, I have a dozen of those. So. And if you could pick some Leaves, you're so you, fast. You, 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 you want me just yeah, to just take the whole leaves? Okay. I'm gonna put a few of those. Oh, leave. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, that's. I'm gonna take those. You, you, you gotta put them in the same oil. I am. I'm going to actually spank them, right? Yeah. Release the oil and lay them in in this in the okay. same oil just to okay. flavor the oil a little bit. All right, so here we have uh, sushi rice, right? I this love, is I love short the grain rice, rice. Yeah. right? So yeah. we're gonna take some of the short grain rice out, and it's so hot. So when you make proper sushi rice, I don't even need all of oh, it. Are you kidding? I'm eating with you tonight. <laughs> when you make proper sushi rice, you, this is My too hot to mix that. with the soup. So I need this to chill. So I'm gonna let this sit here, yeah. and I'm gonna make a soup. A soup is a Japanese mixture of vinegar, mirin, and sugar. All right. Okay. So this is some vinegar. So the mirin is a wine. Mirin is a sweet is a uh, sweet sake. So it's about four to five parts of uh, vinegar to only one part of meat in, just so the, a little bit. Is the mirin made with rice? Oh, uh, yeah, it is, yeah. It's like a sweet sake. Yeah, yeah. And then sugar, white sugar. Sugar. I don't you want it too sweet. You, you, like, you also have some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds that? will be after we make the cake. After. Okay. So I need to bring this to a simmer. This salmon is going to take probably about six to eight minutes. So we're going to come back. This is going to be hot, and I'm going to be able to get this rice mixed in with the soup, but I can't oh, I do it yet because this isn't uh, to the temp of that. Uh -huh. The secret of good sushi rice is the temperature of the soup has to match the temperature of the rice. So when you mm. add it together, it doesn't get mushy. So this has to come to a simmer. That's gonna cook six minutes. We'll make some sushi rice cakes and sear them with sesame seeds. So wow. six minutes, we're gonna put this stitch together. I'm Stick around. Something. That's something. All right, Jacques, you see? So the sugar's all dissolved. Yeah. So and you don't want to boil it hard. You just want to get it to steaming. So now, this temperature of the rice is the same Seven. as this, yeah, right? Same. So what you do is you pour a little of this soup, as it's called, off of the spoon. Oh. And then you first, then Spread you mix it, it. And you gently lift it up and mix it. What you don't want to do is smash pour it, right? the whole thing yeah. in. Yeah, you don't want to pour the whole thing in. What do you, you're trying to make a glassage, if you would. You're trying to glaze the rice, right? Oh. And because the rice is hot, and the soup is hot, it doesn't get gelatinous, right? And you just keep adding the soup to it, you kind of have a shininess to it. So right now, this is basically the classic rice you would use to make nigiri and makasushi. Oh, the, okay. This is a secret. This is why when people eat sushi, like, wow, that fish is so sweet. It's actually the rice, which yeah. on purpose makes the fish taste sweeter, right? See how it's kind of a little shinier? So just a touch more. And I like this because the char has a good oily fattiness to it, plus it's olive oil poached. So this little bit of acidity will, will help blend it together. Well, I'm gonna do that for my wife. She's gonna like it, she loves sushi. All right, so now this, you need to let just rest a little bit. If I was in a Japanese restaurant, you would actually- Spread it out. You, you would actually take a wet cloth and cover it. You can never have these kernels of rice. So when I trained in Osaka, they claimed that if a sushi piece of rice is by itself, it will die, and you can't do that. Oh, so you always bring all the rice together, you don't want any because, dry rice around. Exactly, because there's one separate, it's gonna dry out. So what we're gonna do is normally just let it rest, but my hands are tough, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get some sushi rice cakes. Secret one is all water has flavor. So add just a touch of vinegar, because then now the flavor, the water is vinegar. What do you mean, uh, you're cleaning your finger? I'm not cleaning my finger, I'm wetting my finger so I can take this and make Kind of a sushi rice cake, right? A little triangle like that, okay? A well, triangular like that, wow, look at that. Right, but wet hands, so then it doesn't stick. It's really yeah, hot, but try it. So you kind of make a mold like this, and you go on, and then you flip it around. So you... Like this? Come sideways, you make a triangle, and yeah. you come on this side. 
and you do it twice on that side, then you flip it because you got to get the other side. Boy. I've done a thousand of these. No, I've done ten thousand of yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, you got to fire me. That's not bad. That's good for an apprentice. Not bad for a, <laughs> for a, for a, not bad for a Frenchman. All right, not bad. So here we have some sesame seeds. Okay. So we're going to take this, both sides, like that. Yeah, I love sesame seed. Right. Obviously untoasted. So, yeah, untoasted because, because you like to toast them. I have my pan right here. We're going to add a little butter because we can. That's some pretty hot butter. So don't despair. We add a little oil. Add oil to cool the pan down. Don't add butter because that will burn way too much. Then we get a butter now. Okay. Merci. Like that. Boom. Boom. All right. So it's already getting crispy on one side pretty quick, which is good. So now we can take this. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, so now. Okay, so now we have the sushi rice cake. So now there's salmon. So this is still medium rare inside, right? Which is what I want. Yes, I would right. want to. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nice and pink inside. Yeah, we want it pink inside. Extra oil doesn't matter. Leave just a touch like that. So now my sushi rice cake is gonna be nice and brown on that side, flip it again. Now the, your wonderful tomatoes, please, Jacques. Now you want the tomato. And the shallots. Okay. So now in this same pan, to do it one pan, merci. We're just gonna cook some shallots and tomatoes in here. I'm gonna get these nice and soft. You need some salt. Merci. A little pepper, please. Pepper. Voila. All right, we are close now. Okay. So, so I just want a folder, right? Just want these to melt. This is gonna take about two minutes, guys. I'm gonna get them nice and soft. We'll come back, we'll plate this up. All right? That's Stick fantastic. around. All right, Jacques, look at these wow. sushi rice cakes, right? G, B, and D. Oh, like this. That. You want a couple of those leaves? Yeah, there? yeah, put some on some salmon, will you please? So, you know, you could do that with the uh, Arctic char. You could do that I, with... Uh, I've, been, I've been calling this salmon all day. This is char, Arctic char. So, again, in this same pan, this is just shallots with a little bit of that oil. I just melted the tomatoes. Just a little bit of... In French, we call this the mm. tomate fondue. Yeah. Which means you can charge $29 for it. Fondue tomate, yes. Yeah, fondue Beautiful. tomate. With a little échalote, a little bit of shallot. Et voila. Yeah, this is, this is splendid. It's time to eat. Congratulations. Congratulations wow. to both of us. A table. Bon appétit. Yeah. Come on. Let's I go. learned something. Chin chin. Chin chin. It's the best By of the way, eating this that. is how you toast. Because you like toast this, this way. No, that's, that's how you get. That's a Jacques Pepin Pen method. Okay. A la santé. Thank you. I know a lot about drinking. Oh, Jacques, this looks so good. Yes. You and I are both pros. All right, let me get you. This, I can't shark. wait to do that. I know my wife is going to look that. I'm you know, those are simple recipe, very elegant, quality ingredient, you know, simplicity of recipe. That's what we want. All right, let me so try. Let me see that. Now, look, the inside of that fish is perfect. Mm. Yours as well. Oh, my mm. God. That's so good. That sauce mm. is so simple, mm. but it, it makes the salmon sweet. Can I because take that with my hand? Uh, oui. uh. Please. Gloria mm. is going to like that one. Gloria's going to like that? I may, do a, I may not do a perfect triangle, but... I'll tell you what, Paul is going to love this. All right, let me try this. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Mm. Very good. Food is to please. Right. Food is to bring people together. You know... Conversation around the table, right. prevent war, prevent all I'm glad you said that. We need we yeah. need more people dining at the table because yeah. then we, we won't have time to, we need to, to go talk. to war. Yeah. We need to talk and break bread and share a bowl of rice, right? <laughs> I'm glad you like the, the char. I finally call it char, not salmon. I toast you. One too. I like you. To you. I like Happy cooking. Salmon. Happy cooking right. and as always, peace and good eating.